Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of the Superboss Project with myself, Nox31, and today we're going to measure out some stuff and uh, properly see how much we're going to have to cut off the bed. I know it's four inches this way, I don't know how long it's going to be this way, so we're going to work out how much uh, how much space the bathroom's going to take up next to the sofa, and we're going to try and keep it in line with the kitchen, we're going to measure it all out and we'll see what's going to happen. Um, We've got a visitor today. Say hello, Hash. Uh, she can't be asked. And I've also got some smoothie. Yum, yum. Banana and strawberry. Yum, yum, yum. And blueberry. Mmm. So, yeah. Um, so, this is where the new bathroom's going. But I kind of want it to be in length, in line with the kitchen. So, we're going to work out how big the old uh, bathroom was. Probably should have measured it before I cut it down. But I think we'll be alright. And, uh, yeah, so gonna get on with this now so let's have a look okay so what this tape measure basically shows is that there is a 40 inch gap between the kitchen and the and the back here which means technically speaking if there isn't enough room on this side to level these out I can actually bring this further this way and it will be level with the bed because there's more than enough room in here for the the full size double bed widthways um, I'm going to measure it uh, lengthways. I'm pretty sure lengthways it was only taking four inches off though. Um, so yeah, this is a huge advantage. This means I don't have to cut the bed down uh, widthwise at all. I could just put it in as is. Um, and I might even be able to put it on with its framing as well on either side because there's a there's a big gap at the back here as well if I don't, move, if I don't have to move the kitchen down. Like, if the bathroom's really big here and this gap on this side isn't as big we can still bring the kitchen down to meet it, and I still, and hopefully, I won't have to cut anything off the bed widthwise. I know I'm going to have to cut something off it lengthwise because the bed's like 70 wide. In fact, hang on, let me just check my bit of paper down here. The bed is 70, 70. Oh shit! Camera, come on. Yeah, the bed is 70 inches long by 40 inches wide. So we've got the 40 inches, no problem. Um, it's just the 70 inches across that we need to find. And I think it's just a case of cutting 4 inches off the bed. And we'll be sweet. And the mattress, because it's a big foam mattress, should compress down into the space. Um, but we'll see. We'll work that out when we get there. Right, so I've just started the super bus to keep that battery alive and kicking. Uh, so I'm going to leave this running for about 10 minutes, keep the engine going, you know, make sure it doesn't seize up or anything. It won't, it's very unlikely that it will, but better to be safe than sorry. Next problem is, I need to find somewhere to store all this stuff while I'm working on the van, but you can't put it, like, directly on top of one another. You'll notice that there's bits of wood between it, because it'll just stick to itself. So I need to find somewhere to put this, then I need to help taking that safe out right there, and uh, then I need to measure out all the stuff for the bathroom and, and go for it, basically. Um, I'm pretty sure the walls will just slide straight back in because um, of the contour of this is the same all the way down. So when the walls go back in, all I've got to do is patch up where the hole, the wheel well was down here and we'll be fine and then the back wall will be sweet as well. Uh, I am breathing in so many exhaust fumes, it's unreal. So I'm going to crack on, find somewhere to put these and I will be back at you once I know what's going on. Okay, if we estimate that the original bathroom was three feet uh, deep, uh, three, three feet wide, or I should rather say, or not even wide because that's wide, three feet long, if we, if we roughly estimate that the bathroom is three feet long, and then bring this over here, and match this up to here, you see the three foot down there on the floor is obviously, hang on, let me grab this, <sighs> yep, that's about right, let me put that there. Let, let's give it the benefit of the doubt and put it a bit further back. So there's the three foot mark right there. There's the edge of the kitchen. Oh shit, that's moved way loads. Ugh. And the edge of the kitchen is roughly about there. This is really hard to organize with one hand. Well look, basically what I'm trying to tell you is that the bathroom will fit in here. <laughs> I'm a bit stressed out because I'm trying to do this all with one hand and it's not working out. The bathroom will fit in here, no problem. Yes, great, awesome, excellent, fantastic, perfect, continue. <laughs> all right, I've calmed down a little bit, I'm sorry. Uh, we've taken the safe out. Massive thanks to Dad for the assistance because one of us has to be in the van and one of us has to be outside the van sort of holding the bolts. So some, one of us can undo them and the other one can keep them. Um, so yeah. 
what I was trying to say in that previous video is that the the bathroom will fit in here no problem. Like three, it, it there's three foot gap, and then there's like like there's three foot for the bathroom, and then there's like additional loads of room for walls and stuff like that. So it will be fine. It will be okay. I don't know why I was getting so stressed out about the whole thing. Just take a deep breath. Don't let this shit get to you because it will be worth it in the end. There's no need to get stressed out. And uh, yeah, so. Got the safe out, going to start clearing up some of this stuff now, maybe run the hoover around and then I might start looking into cutting bits out of the floor and walls and putting walls in and seeing what, you know, seeing how it's supposed to go back together, so yeah. And I've also got to take this off at some point in my life. Um, it's very, very well screwed in there now. Very, very well screwed in there because when I took it off the last time, I was like, I don't want ever, I don't want this to ever come off again, and that was a silly thing to say. So, don't say things like that when you're building a super bus. Definitely make sure you can take stuff apart. Definitely make sure you can, you know, get into the areas that you need to get into. Uh, this is quite an important one. There's lots of electrical stuff behind there. We've also got the reversing camera to wire in along this channel now as well. So while the bathroom's out, what I might do instead is I might take this out and get to work on uh, the electronics. Might have a bit of a problem here though, because there's like a ton of mastic in here and like behind here and all stuff like that. So I might have to clean this out. But uh, yeah, we should be alright. So yeah, the bathroom will fit, no problem. Success! If we are going to be putting... Oh, excuse my dirty hands. If we're going to be putting the water buckets in here, so say... Right, okay. Say you've got the storage here, so it's like... That's the bed, right? That's the bed, and then underneath it is all storage, right? This is going to be like a cupboard on this side. This is going to be the gas box, and then behind the gas box over here, there's going to be more storage like here. So... That's going to be storage as well, with the the door on it here if we put the water jugs here so like they're right accessible like whenever you're at the, the the campsite you could just open up the back doors chuck them in there job done that's what i wanted with the original ones make it very easy it's not a good idea to have them stacked on top of one another better to have them side by side so what i'm going to do i've moved the pump this is basically what i'm trying to get out of here is this pump doesn't have to be here on this side anymore what it can be because we're moving the electric box anyway i've unrun this wire from down there and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect this potentially onto a bit of wood that goes on the back here and that's going to have the pump in it so I probably won't have to move the light switch I still will though, I'm going to move it along a little bit more to the edge of the sink so it's out of the way of the bed and everything uh, there's enough wire on that so it shouldn't be a problem and then the water tanks will be here and I could just put the put the thing in bloop there was talk about maybe having like a, a shelf unit up here with water canisters on it that just had like a gravity fed tap system might still do that um, but we'll see um, I've learned a lot of stuff when I was in Estonia and thanks to Law for pointing out some tips yesterday that we could just use you know splash and, and ladle and what have you to clean ourselves and do dishes and what have you and so yeah I might end up getting some taps for the uh, for the water containers and foregoing the pump completely. I'm a bit worried about the uh, the gooey stuff that was on the pipes when I was driving around Europe. Um, although, you'd probably be happy to know that I boiled most of the water that came out of the system anyway, so it should have been okay. But yeah, this can now be moved over to this uh, over to the other side. I can, I can pick this up. Maybe I can even drop the gas box onto the floor proper now, because um, there is a there is a feed-out pipe at the back, excuse all the mastic, yeah, there's the feed-out pipe right there. And uh, that takes all the gas, because as I like to keep mentioning, the gas is heavier than air, so it seeps out the bottom. But yeah. Uh, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and find the wires for the reversing camera, but failing that, I'm going to get on with some other bits and pieces, and I will catch you back up as soon as I know what's going on. Peace! Okay, so we've got both the lights off. I am having trouble with this one errant screw, but that's fine. I'll get that out eventually. So yeah, we've got another light out. All's good in the hood. So this will be coming down soon. And then what I've got to do afterwards is, since all the power supply stuff's getting moved anyway to about here, um, all this stuff's getting rewired. What I can do in sort of pseudo preparation is prepare enough wire to run uh, up to the LED stuff and then when I get all the fuses and stuff needed I could just plumb them in straight into the box and all the LEDs are still, it will, it will be wired in anyway. Um, 
but that requires some serious forethought like what electronics do you want to run how are you going to put them in before the bathroom so for example before we put the bathroom in we've got to consider the reversing camera and the LED lights that go up behind this board because once the bathroom's back in it's going to be very difficult to take this board out what I might do actually um, now that I've said that and based on previous experiences I might cut this board down into sections so this will be the bedroom section and then this one will be the bathroom section and then this one at the end will just be sort of like the sofa living room area and that way if anything goes wrong with any of them i can take them out one at a time and fix them so if the lights on this one start going on the fritz or whatever i could take this one board out i don't have to take out the whole thing and yeah i think i think that's probably the way forward i think whoever did this first was just like right do one piece and it will be done real quick but no we're gonna we're gonna fix it so yeah Okay, it is down, and uh, I think I'm going to call it there for today. It's only been a short episode, but I've got other things to do today. Um, I, I have made arrangements elsewhere. So, uh, yeah, it's only going to be a short one today. Tomorrow, when I come out, what I'm going to do is I am going to measure out this on here so I know how much of this I can, I can split it by, basically. I need to keep it on this side, so when I cut this... The cut will need to be on this side of things, so that definitely, definitely the wall can fit in here. And then we might have to shorten the one that goes off in here, and that'll be the bathroom one. That'll have some LEDs on it. And then the one at the back here that goes into the bedroom will also have some LEDs on it. Um, so there's going to be, I might have to buy some more to go with the ones that, that EG gave me. I don't know, I'll have to check them out. But there should be some LEDs here, some LEDs here inside the bathroom, and then a further few LEDs here. And then when it comes over to the other side, sorry, I'm really out of breath. When it comes over to the other side, we're going to have LEDs here and down by the door. And I might wire it in so whenever the side doors open, the lights are on, maybe. that I don't know. It sounds like a bit of a waste of electricity now that I've said it. Um, but it'll also these will also be the lights for the kitchen because I might put like a little uh, panel here to stop the bed getting all splashed on, like say when we're cleaning stuff up or whatever, uh, I might put like a little splash board here, so these LEDs might not light this up so well, so having, I don't know if it's worth having like one, two, three, same as on the other side, like one, two, three, the only reason we're having three on this side is because the bathroom's right in the middle, and the lights from these, either side won't get in, and this light won't get over to here, and this light won't get over to there, so yeah, um, yeah, oh, I'm bloody exhausted, I will, uh, Catch you on the next episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, take it easy. All the best. Bye-bye.